What's up everybody, Jackson here, and today I want to talk about the Nintendo Switch. I kept saying Twitch for like the first three takes. For some reason I got lost in a trail of laughter. Anyway, the Nintendo Switch live stream that they did last night. Um, I didn't watch the North American one, I tuned into it, and I don't know if I got it after it was already over or before it started, but it was just showing some people playing like Street Fighter Ultra 2. Which, you know, is a huge, I'm sure a lot of fighting games, guys, they're going to love that. Uh, just something, a puzzle game where you two pieces of paper, you're cutting each other. So this is based on last night's presentation. Um, let me explain my perspective on Nintendo going into, before I get into this. It'll just kind of make it a little bit easier to understand. Um, so my family has owned uh, Nintendos going back to the NES. I grew up on them. I think a lot of people in my generation did where it was just something where you had a Nintendo or, you know, like some people had the Sega. I think I only had one friend that I can remember whose family had a Sega. But on the most part, I just Nintendo, you know what I mean? So when Nintendo started to lose me, I mean, Nintendo, I played Nintendo a lot. There was a time, a uh, period in time where all I was playing was GameCube. There was a period in time where all I was playing was my Wii. So, I mean, I've played a lot of Nintendos, but when they started to lose me was with the Wii U. Now let me explain why they lost me with the Wii U. Uh, the Wii had a lot of really good games on it. Um, my but my bu very good friend Jeff would let me borrow a lot of games for the GameCube and the Wii U. All right, the Wii, not the Wii U. There's not many really good games for the Wii U, and that's that, anyway. Moving on, that's where they kind of lost me. So I, I enjoyed my Wii, and then the, they did the digital console, and I started to buy all these old games that I hadn't played in forever, like Zelda 2 and stuff like that. That I mean just fucking steeped in my childhood and so i enjoyed the wii the wii u i got and it just seemed like it was kind of the same thing as the wii except for it had this kind of handheld screen that you could so it was trying to be a portable system but then it was still was kind of a pain in the ass to carry all the cords and you know the main unit so I didn't, I just, I didn't see that perspective of it. And it seemed like a lot of the games were being, I don't know. There wasn't a lot of third party games. And I feel like that was the problem with the Wii U and the Wii. I mean, going back, it's just, there's not a lot of third party games. GameCube had a lot of good third party games though. The GameCube was a good fucking system. I don't know why. I think in that, in that generation, I think that Sony and Microsoft didn't even really have the better con. I mean, maybe hardware wise, but I'm sorry. The GameCube had so many fucking good games. I, I can't even remember games I played on the GameCube that I enjoyed because I just had played so many of them. It's been so long ago, but like literally there were so many that it would be hard for me to remember them all. And so I, the thing about the switch, let's get into the switch stuff now. So that's kind of my perspective. I was with them up until that point, and just the Wii U, it felt like there wasn't much. It was recycled stuff, and I was starting to worry that I, I just saw this. They wanted, I felt like they were focusing more on like their 3DS and their fucking Game Boys and shit like that, and that's where the really good like games were coming out. And even then, I started to notice those were kind of just starting to get recycled. I'm not a Pokemon player, like so when a new Pokemon game comes out to me, I don't understand why everyone's so excited, okay? But understand, I'm not a Pokemon guy, so I'm not trying to talk shit. I mean, no disrespect. It's just one of those things that I personally don't understand because the game is essentially the same game every iteration, except for no one gives it shit. People praise it, but call... I don't know. But I'm not... I'm not going to trail into it because I really, I don't, I mean, Pokemon is wildly popular, very, like, you go after that, you're going to get knocked down a peg or two. All I'm saying is I personally don't understand it. So I started to see this, and it wasn't just the Pokemon being rehashed, it was New Super Mario Bros, which was really good, but then it seemed like they just started to do more and more and more and more and more of that, and I don't know, there was just this feeling about everything, that they were kind of chasing nostalgia and market trends, like that seemed to be their focus. Now, let's move into the Switch. I feel like they're kind of doing that still, but at least it's fresh, okay? So they reveal Super Mario Odyssey, which is the first thing I want to talk about because it looks really fun. 
it, they're going back to like the 3D over the head to like Mario 64, Sunshine, Galaxy. Like they're going back to that style of gameplay. Galaxy was a little weird though, man. That one made me a little sick. If I'm going to be honest with you, that one I couldn't play for long stretches because that just that camera angle going up and down. I remember it would like I'd get vertigo a little bit. My hands would get sweaty. But anyway, they're going back to that. It looks fucking, it looks really fun. Like it starts out legit like a real city with what looks like real people, you know, and <laughs> almost like a little more cartoonized uh, Grand Theft Auto city, really. And then all of a sudden Mario pops out of the sewer and I was just like, what? Okay. And then it shows him like gameplay style running around the city and jumping around. I was like, that's cool. So that looked really good and so they're going back still but they're going back to a refreshing thing that they haven't done in a very long time if you think about it it's been a very long time since they did like that style of mario game i think it's been since super new super mario bros that they have if i'm if i'm remembering correctly but so that's very cool the second thing i want to talk about that i was i mean i'm, tr I'm not a, i haven't followed a lot of the, and I know the Travis guy, I cannot remember that game. I, I thought it was Kill All Heroes or no, my buddy Jeff, No More Heroes is what it was. But he's coming back in a game, but I really couldn't understand a whole lot of what that was. And that, they, these are things that are just in development, right? They're, I, they're so in, early in development that they didn't even have footage or anything put together. They just had announcers come out and talk about it. But so... The, the, the second thing that is Breath of the Wild, or is that it? Zelda Breath of the Wild, I think that's the name of the new one. That game, that's so smart that they held on to that. People have been bitching and bitching that that's been out for a while and it should have been released on the Wii U, but that game, <laughs> that game is a fucking system seller. You're going to sell a lot of systems. You box it with uh, that game. That game looks so good. Now, that just looks really good. That's all I have to say about that. That looks like, you know what it, it kind of felt like to me, and this is going to sound weird, but it felt like they're blending all of the best together. But visually, like visually, that world, it, dude, it reminded me of Zelda. I, I can't remember fucking right now what one it is, but the Super Nintendo one, the, the one that's over the, where they went back to the asymmetric over the top view. That one, that's what it reminds me. Because that hole where the, the sword is and everything and the woods and like that. I was just like, if you fucking could have back then zoomed in, this is the way they w would have wanted that. It looked good, dude. And it's all open world and shit. And I saw like all the, you know, different races, the Zoros and oh, it looks good. It looks good. The Gerudo. It looks good. But moving on to the, like the final thing that I was really excited for and it wasn't just bethesda there were several others but bethesda is who i'm going to use because they're the you know obviously in your face one but skyrim is coming to the fucking who cares right i'm sorry am i the only one who just is sick of hearing about this fucking game that's so old it's like bethesda move the fuck on to something new okay stop pimping this game stop working on this game build something new okay guys good good job something new and not a fucking card game for my fucking mobile app. <laughs> anyway, the, the thing about that that's good, about Skyrim coming, I don't give a shit about Skyrim. I'm sorry. It's just, I just, oh my God. So, the, but the good thing about that is that means that they're, the limits on third parties is growing. It's, there's not a tight is tied a limit on it and that's really good because that's really what ultimately kills nintendo in the end is people are able to get this nostalgia feeling with fresh games on other consoles because you've just they've been so horrible at handling third-party relations they've made it difficult for the uh outside developers to make games for their console you know and so i feel like that's the best thing because i feel like Nintendo is moving forward in a more open direction with their with that in mind that we do need these third party developers we do need these outside games and it's good because that means potentially at some point in time cross-platform games will also be on the on the fucking switch 
So all fucking games that come out on the PS4, Xbox One, and the fucking, you know, or whatever they're going to be at a certain point. It looks like Nintendo is working on getting to the point where anyone who is getting those games... So when they get to the point where it's a choice... Like, where this last few generations, it's been a choice. Like, should I get... I mean, until the GameCube, where the GameCube had some third-party stuff that was worth it. Like, they had the Resident Evil 4, which I would argue is the best fucking... I've only played that version. But from everything I've heard from people who played them all, like, that dude, that fucking version kicks ass. I remember playing that and replaying that again and again. But anyway, that's what they need. I mean, the Wii and the Wii U didn't have a lot of that. It didn't. And then they're, you know, the digital console, they just had... A handful of offerings for me personally because i'm not gonna buy an old nintendo game that because they don't look that good when you're running them they look just as good as like a rom would you know an emulator would run them and so at that point i i don't want to buy things i haven't played because it's just not worth it to me so there's only a handful of those that i'm personally gonna buy and i think a lot of people were like that they're like they just wanted those games for the nostalgia and that's why they're willing to buy, you know throw five bucks at it so they need more offerings from other people and i think that they kind of saw what sony did i know this is going to sound weird but sony did a really good job like they, they they had a lot of like console exclusives you know early early like exclusivity not even exclusives because they eventually release on everything but they had a lot of really good early stuff that was really very good at getting the nostalgia bone but being new and looking good so that it still is like you know across the line anyway guys so that's that's what i my thoughts on it <laughs> hope you enjoy i just woke up so wanted to throw it together love you till next time keep being awesome stay safe have fun <laughs> take care everybody